Just hoping to capture some flickering in my LEDs. Uh, <clears throat> been talking to some guys um, who've got AC coupled um, solar like ours, and uh, they're reporting that they've got flickering going on with their lights. Um, hoping to capture that flickering here. Um, I think I've figured out what it is. Uh, so LED lights um, have some form of either like a stepping power supply or some other form of power supply in them um, that obviously rectify the power and then take it down to the appropriate voltage. Um, the AC coupled power control mechanism is it, on, a, on, on a Victron inverter, for example, when you uh, build a microgrid is to use phase shift. Um, the Australian standard for grid DRM, um, or at least in Western Australia where I live, it's, uh, it's voltage. Um, so when the voltage is at a sustained X, um, it, it tells your equipment to either stop pulling power or stop producing power. Um, so with the Victron gear, and this is um, configured for off-grid use, it's not going to do it now, you watch. I'll have to set a camera up to watch it, but um, what's been causing it is the grid frequency. Yep, there it goes. Right, got him, cool. So, let me run over to my computer. So, the flickering is happening whenever this frequency goes to uh, 52.9, or anything above 52.5 hertz, it's causing flickering. So, I wanna validate that now by going outside. Sorry, get me off my computer desk, cat. Yeah, I'll feed you after. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go outside and I'll kill the power to the uh, to the AC coupled inverters. Um, the problem is I don't think that will bring down the, the frequency because the servo controller is telling the Victron inverter to ramp up in order to keep production off. So 52.6 is effectively telling these things to turn off altogether. That's why these ones are running and these ones are not. So if I was to go outside now and switch these off, in fact, I'm gonna run and do that. I'll, uh, I'll leave this recording, I'll be back in two seconds. Quiet, okay. So these should all be in state 560, which they are, which tells me that they're throttled out, which is good. So that's the control mechanism working. Not much good to us if the control mechanism is, um, you know, preventing us from being able to use our gear. So still on that new version. So hey, uh, here's a caveat of having this new version on. I can't use the remote console anymore, which is really frustrating. Now, I can't see the frequency here, but the solar yield has just changed. Battery's already at 100%. So, no light. I've got a bolt flash. Have these things changed state? Still in state 560. One of them has started producing power, I think. No, let me go and check the computer. All right, so something funny is still going on because I've just killed these. Ah, that large 150 is still getting power. That's not what we want. I'm going to have to go and switch that one off. Okay, so DC charges are ramping down, a bit of a delay. I wonder if that's a byproduct of the um, of the servo controller current version maybe not being as good. Uh, so what we should see here though is it should start to adjust this down from 52.8 when it wants these things to ramp up we should see this frequency go down. I have a sneaking suspicion that this is not as live as it's making out it is. Let's try a refresh, eh? 52.8. I am going to go and turn on the oven, see if that makes a difference. Okay, how's that look? Yeah, this is nowhere near as live as it should be because um, there should be a couple of thousand watts worth of uh, discharge going on there. Let me see what happens when I 
and I can't use the remote console because I'm using that bloody new version, the release candidate, which prevents me from, there it is. And then what we should see in a minute is um, it'll realize there's some demand, it's got to respond to the demand, and we should see a reduction in this frequency right here. Let's have a look if, uh, are we logging it? I don't think we are. Let's start logging it. Where are we? Uh, no. V shed inverter, here we go. Uh, DC current, A AC, oh we are logging it. Just didn't see it, wherever it is. Uh, can we search for frequency? Input frequency, output frequency. Yeah, so there we go. Clear as day. Battery is charged. Suddenly the frequency ramps up to 52.9. Now this is when I was seeing my light starting to flicker, the LED lights, and then it settled back to 52.7. Any time now we should see this starting to drop because we are now consuming a considerable amount of power. I, I guess what you've got to do is maybe customize the, the demand response frequency mode so that it's maybe you know fully off is at 52 and fully on is at 49 and a half maybe and that would let you maintain uh equipment in the house that's running with digital timing of some description to like i'm i'm really shocked that you know the the power system in the led light is struggling with 50 hertz that that just seems what 52.6 or 52.9 it's only three hertz more so why that's a six percent difference in in frequency i would have thought that plus or minus ten percent would have been enough but um since you don't know who's manufacturing the chipset in the in the light who knows right um, i really thought that would have uh, come on by now what i'll do is i will quickly i'm going to leave the recording going and i'm going to go and run around and turn on some other loads So that's a split system fired up. We should see that. Now the inverter at 25 degrees Celsius is good for uh, like a, a consistent 8,000 watts. By at this temperature, 35 degrees Celsius outside, ambient temperature, we're probably only going to be good for about 7,000. Two split systems. And again, I don't think that is updating anywhere near as regularly as it should. Oh, here we go. 51.5 and the AC coupled inverters have started to produce so I'll let, let this run for a little while and see if I get any more light flickering um, I assume that the internet doesn't need to see me recording a, a stationary light so I'll, uh, I'll not bother to do that and I'll come back to you shortly and let you know whether or not the light stopped flickering um, I suspect it, uh, I suspect it will. There, look at that. So I imagine that if you've got an AC coupled solar system and you're seeing light flickering, make sure that you're logging this, the AC output frequency, and check the frequency that, when, when are your lights flickering? At 52.9 hertz, mine, this was flickering a lot. Unfortunately, by the time I ran around and grabbed the camera, um, it had sort of settled down to 52.6 and the light was behaving itself. Still occasionally flickering, but, but behaving a lot better. But um, down here, I'd never seen it do it. Never seen it do it. And clearly there's something wrong with the light as the light's getting older, because uh, it wasn't doing it before. And it started doing it now. So whether or not there's a component wearing out in the light that's you know exacerbating the issue, who knows. But uh, it hasn't flicked again since that has come down, so. Uh, I'll monitor it, I'll be back shortly, um, see if we can not, well, if we can confirm it or not that the frequency is in fact what's causing the LEDs to flicker. But uh, I'll do that in a second video. So, thanks for watching.